Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about adding polynomials. All right, so the first page we're gonna work on problems together, and then the second page you'll be able to try some problems on your own. All right, so how do you add polynomials? All right, well basically when you're adding polynomials, the goal is to basically simplify the expression, okay? So you know a polynomial is simplified when no two terms okay, are similar. So a polynomial is simplified when no two terms are similar. All right, so take a look at this first expression. We have 5x squared plus 7x plus 6x squared plus 4x, okay? So this polynomial has four terms, all right? And notice we have a 5x squared and then a 6x squared, okay? Well, those are like terms because they both end in x squareds. So 5x squared six and 6x squared will give us an 11x squared. But we also have a 7x and a 4x. So 7x plus 4x will give us 11x. And last but not least, it's always good to write it in standard form. So remember, you want to make sure it goes in order from highest degree to lowest degree. So um, 11x squared plus 11x is already written in standard form. So there it is. All right, the next one we have the shape of a triangle. And we want to determine the perimeter of the triangle. All right, so we need to basically first write an expression to get the perimeter. And remember, the perimeter is the distance around, right? So I'm gonna add up the four y cubed plus this four y cubed. And then finally, this side, the seven x the sixth. And of the three terms, these two terms are actually the exact same thing, right? So four y to the cubed plus four y to the cubed gives us an eight y cubed plus 7x to the sixth. And there it is, it's simplified. Now we could write this in standard form, which I'm gonna do. So it'll be 7x to the sixth plus 8y cubed. And there's your answer, okay? For the expression above it, the 8y cubed plus 7x to the sixth is also uh, the simplified version of the answer. All right, so now that you know how to add polynomials, why don't you pause the video and try the air term problem now. And when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's see how you did uh, with this practice, practice problem. So here you had to find the perimeter, okay? Uh, this kind of looks like an L, okay? And it, it's a irregular polygon. So I'm gonna first write the expression to get the perimeter. So I need to add up all the sides, right? So that's gonna be eight X cubed plus 8x cubed, another one, plus 6y to the fifth, plus an 8x cubed, plus a 12y to the fifth, and then finally, plus a 7y to the fifth. All right, now we need to add the like terms. So let's see, we have an x cubed, an x cubed, and another x cubed. So we need to add the 8x cubed plus the 8x cubed and this 8x cubed, and that'll give us a 24x cubed plus 6y to the fifth plus 12y to the fifth plus 7y to the fifth. That gives us 25y to the fifth, okay? And last but not least, I'm gonna write it in standard form. So it'd be 25y to the fifth plus 24x cubed. And that is the expression to determine the perimeter of the shape. All right, how'd you do?